Here are 30 plus indestructible hidden and pro league collector claw spots to help you win more games in Rainbow Six Siege. First up, these claws were used by G2 against BDS in order to deny the impact EMPs on the hatch. Next up we have claws for yellow wall, one is going to go on the top side on the right and the other goes around fireplace underneath, meaning that they have to be naded off the wall or twitch drone or brava. Moving on to Oregon, we have the hatch in meeting. If you place an electric claw just underneath the stage, you can't actually see it when you're playing around it. People are going to be looking below for this claw, so having it above could actually throw them off. Next up, say you're reinforcing off elbow, you could actually electric claw this from outside. Running into garage, you want to aim just for this ivy and throw it in there. It does get hidden, just a teeny bit seen. You go back down, both walls are electrified. Bedroom walls can be electrified by placing one inside of this drawer, inside the actual bedroom. The other is going to go all the way around from game's room window, thrown outside, and this gets the right hand ball, meaning both walls are now electrified. Now last we have Attic. I haven't actually seen anyone use this in game, but I did see someone make a TikTok a very long time about it. You actually are going to place both electric claws outside on either side. This means the right and the left wall will be denied. Make sure to have a little run up as you throw the second electric claw as it is a pretty far throw. As you can see, both walls are now electrified. Moving on to Villa, we know you set it up with one wall reinforced, however you do want to stop them from breaching that wall. You can place the electric claw behind the bomb like this, and it means it can't be naded from below, and it's really hard for attackers to find. Vault wall can be electric clawed from actually behind the vault door. The easiest way to do this is to lay prone below the pool cubes and throw it in behind the door. This then electrifies the wall. Last we have kitchen wall, you can just put it in this little green box and it makes it a lot harder for attackers to nade it off the wall. Moving on to clubhouse, kitchen hatch, why place it below when you could place it above? In here it's really hard for the attackers to see but it still gets the hatch for you. Cash double wall, everyone knows these electric claws but put one on the left side of the wall meaning it can't be naded from below. And then you can put the other by jumping into the bottom of garage above the steps. This one gets the right hand wall. These two electric claws are good as they both can't be got by the same impact EMP and makes it really hard for attackers to actually breach the wall. Last we have the two sets of double walls below garage. These aren't really hidden but they are quite hard to get as they're placed just below the numbers on top rafters and as you can see both walls are electrified. Moving on to border, we have the main wall. You can electrify this, one inside this drawer and the other on this ping just on the right side of the pull. This electrifies both walls. Another way of electrifying this wall is actually by going below. Obviously here I'm jumping out the front door but you would go down the main stairs. If you then go into stock, you can just place it on the roof right here. This electrifies both walls, just meaning that the attackers then have to waste that little bit extra time going in below and getting rid of your cage charge. Next up for the hatch in the archives, you can just lay prone and throw it under this desk. Same with the hatch in small office, lay prone and throw it just under the desk and the hatch is also electrified here. Moving on to chalet we have the office walls, these were also taken from Pro League. Punch out the fan, place one there, this will get the left wall and then you actually go outside the site and place it just at the top behind the beam and this will get the other two walls. This was also used in Pro League to get the long wall in bottom chalet. If you run upstairs and actually make a hole in the desk, 
you can then place your electric claw just right in the edge and it'll electrify both walls. Cafes up next, Kitchen Hatch can actually be got by placing the electric claw outside. This was taken from Pro League 2. You can get a lot of tips from actually watching Pro League play. Although it's outside, you'd think people would see it, but they actually don't. For Kitchen, you want to place it below just like how it was with Borders Hatch. This means that Ace won't be able to breach the wall and you can play in Bakery more freely. Moving on to Consulate, for the main hatch you're going to shoot out a section in the sink and just place your electric claw in there. Not a lot of people will actually spot this out. Now for the circle desk hatch, you can do the same thing, just shoot a hole inside the desk and throw the electric claw in down the right. It's not seen and people think it's just a bit of debris broken off. For basement triple walls, you want to make a hole just on the left side of this pole and throw it in on the black area. This is a piece of indestructible floor. You want to do the same on the left side. This means they're immune to Kali and also can't be EMP'd by one impact EMP. Make sure you throw it on this hard ground on the left too. Moving over to Skyscraper, for the office walls, you want to make a hole in the desk and place one here. This gets the left wall. And then you want to put the other inside this little lip in the lounge. This then gets the right wall and both walls are now electrified. For the top red stairs wall, you can just place your electric claw around the corner, meaning that it can't be got from below, which is where people mainly go to get this wall. Moving across the coastline, you have these two walls in VIP, which can be electrified from outside. This was took from Pro League as well. I believe it was Heroic v Rogue at the time. You throw it just inside these roof decorations and the walls get electrified easily. You can't actually see this from outside, or at least you can only see a little bit. It's really hard to notice it's there if you don't know about the claw. Emerald Plains has this single wall upstairs which you can electrify from the opposite side, meaning it's not on the wall and an easy to reach spot for Twitch. On Outback, the hatch in bedroom can be electroclawed by placing one inside this set of cupboards, meaning that it's a lot safer than if it was just on the hatch. On Stadium Bravo, it's a lot like border and you can actually Electroclaw it from below. You can do this by running out main door at the start of the round, but be careful, you have to be very quick. You also won't have time to do the barricade up again after, but people won't tend to notice it. Thank you for watching, guys, and if you know any more electroclawed spots, please let me know in my Discord server, and I'll see you guys in the next one.